Hi, this is Dr. Randy Hurst, a clinical psychologist. I gave this an odd title. I uh, hope that you were curious, I guess. It's called Deliberate or Del Deliberate. And it's about the question of whether we have free choice. Do we make rational, deliberate, intentional choices? Do we react very emotionally? Are our reactions part of just our general pattern? Or do we consider choices individually and rationally? Now, most people will believe that they really do. They, they make a choice. On the other hand, from 40 years ago now, when I was in my master's program, research had already shown that the brain decides, has already made a choice before we act and before we know what we're going to do, and that our actions help contribute to our explanation for why we did it. Other research, there's a John Barge, I, I, I've always called him John Barg, but apparently it's Barge. Look him up on Wikipedia or on YouTube, B-A-R-G. I'm sorry, B-A-R-G-H, and, and you can learn about his research that showed that there's a lot of things that we do that are not really rational in a sense. They can do weird things like what's called prime a situation, where they have people holding a warm cup of coffee and evaluating pictures or scenes or a, a person, a picture of a person, and then have an, another group of people holding a cold cup of coffee or liquid and have them do the same thing. And the, the estimation or the judgment of the person about whom they have, are seeing pictures are much warmer, much more friendly when they're having a warm cup of coffee in their hand than when they're having a cold cup of something or a glass of something. So this is weird. It's called priming. It was, are there things that you can do or that are done such that, that it affects your judgment without any sense of knowledge that your judgment is being changed by, in this case, just holding a warm or cold cup of coffee? Um, it's crazy in a way. At the same time, there's been lots of research about bias, often that we're not aware of. A bias about race, maybe a gender, about um, the type of jobs that people appear to have in a, in a picture, about whether somebody is a convict. People can say that they're not biased, but often are quite affected by information that, that they're getting in or information from their past or, or, or belief system that changes how they see a situation or how they judge a person. So is that free will given that with a little adjustment to what they see or what they are holding in their hand might change what their judgment is. These are ways that show that to some extent we have limited free will. We're affected a lot by our surround or by what's in our head. We're not always aware. So can we make choices then that are problematic or not thought through if we're not even aware of what might be affecting our evaluation? And the answer is clearly yes. Well, not so clearly. The research says that the answer is yes. But to ask a person, they, they have a reason for why they do what they do, even if the reason is kind of, in a sense, made up on the spur of the moment, and they're not aware of the influences. Well, what does this mean in 
kind of average everyday things. One of the things that happened when I was getting my master's, uh, well, no, I wasn't getting my doctorate. I ran across research for my dissertation that found that some of the social psych influences about bias, ways that we color our view of the world based on past history or limited information, uh, stereotypes, can be changed a lot with just a little bit more information. And, and that's a big part of what I refer to when I say deliberate. Is there a way to check your reactions, to kind of stop and go, wait, is that just a reaction? Do I, do I really have a basis for deciding that? And to step back and sort through, well, what do I really believe in? Do I really believe that, or is it a stereotype that has kind of made sense, or that a lot of people have? Do I believe it? This, this is, it's, it's not an easy thing, because we don't always know that we're doing it. But we can always step back and go, is this really me? Is this really what I believe? So to deliberate, to spend time and make a kind of a more conscious choice of is this really a good thing or not? So I encourage people, rec try to recognize when you're being kind of an automatic reactor, especially if the, the reaction is based on emotion or, or as you've heard in some of the other videos, based on want or fear because we can very automatically follow a pattern of going towards wants just because we want them and we want them now or pulling away and avoiding things we're afraid of when if you step back and look at it and you go logically I know it's probably not good to avoid that fear it's probably not harmful I probably should do it but a, a part inside goes I, but, I, but I'm afraid. What might happen? I, the uncertainty is can feel horrible to that person or the, the person who wants, you know, especially if they've had a history of wanting things and and getting them and getting into trouble with money or um, with being under the influence and trouble with their relationships, trouble at work. Those going for wants it can be very damaging. Going for fears in the long run can be very damaging, even though it seems like it's it's um, self-protective. Their li a person's life can get smaller and smaller and smaller if it's based in fear. So how do you push through and make a deliberate choice of doing what you know is the thing that is probably the right thing to do for the long haul, not just for right now? Because both want and fear are about right now and reaction. And, and we get into a pattern. So think about it. Are there things that you need and want to break in your pattern of doing things? And be deliberate instead of reactive, immediate. Look at some of the other videos that have to do with what I call monster taming. The monster is the monster emotion that can get us to avoid fears or go for what we want in ways that cause problems. How do you break through and make changes if you recognize there's a problem by really deliberately choosing rather than just reacting to feelings? Okay, hope this makes sense. Uh, short one, check out some of the others as I get them on about monster taming. Thank you.